Good afternoon, nice to meet you. Today we see a sad picture. All over the world a huge number of whales, dolphins, cranberries and other large sea dwellers jump out on the coast and die. It happens because of the so-called noise pollution. The surplus of sound waves from 20 to 3000 Hz in the waters of the world ocean. That is exactly the same range that cetacean used for receiving and sending information. Hearing has become the main tool that helps animals survive. As soon as they hear threatening sounds, the animals are stressed and immediately flee to be as far from the threat as they can. Animals escaping from the unbearable noise swim in shallow waters, where they are carried away by the sea waves and die of dehydration. Moreover, the scientists found out that the great majority of dead whales has a cerebral hemorrhage, so the hearing aid didn't endure the overload. What's even more dangerous is that the whales are not capable to differ a ship's noise from the natural sound of the sea. So, how directly the noise pollution occurs? The three main sources are oil and gas exploration, ships and military centers. For example, mining companies explore the ocean with echo sounders and underwater guns. This invention allows you to explore the relief of the ocean's bottom by their shot, which is reflected then from the sea depth. Usually there are from 10 to 40 guns like this on the ship. They shoot at the same time every 10-12 seconds. This research can last for months and be activated by more than one country. It's hard to imagine what does animals feel at this time. Because even for human hearing, these sounds are so unpleasant that if you will listen to it for more than 10 minutes, it will cause attacks of noisia and dizziness. The problem with oil and gas exploration is especially acute in the Gulf of Mexico, along the coast of California, in the Persian Gulf, in the North Sea, and by the coast of Brazil. Another source are transport and cargo ships. The noise of their engines also defends the whales, doesn't allow the female to choose a male, doesn't allow to know about the storm in time and properly feed. Not only animals suffer in the ocean, but also people who depend on it and feed on its resources. Now we know the cases when, due to the such companies, the catch fell by 60%. And the fish don't return after such studies. But how to deal with the noise pollution? There is an exist. Such method as noise reduction was offered by scientists. With the help of manufacture and application of the efficient engines, it is possible not only to reduce the noise level, but also to reduce the economical cost of fuel. Reduced noise is also beneficial for the Navy. The less noise, the less possibility to be seen by the enemy. For naval and other structures, it is necessary to introduce ecological monitoring, on the basis of which it is expedient to build a road. This would make it possible to bypass the places where the damage to the animal's population is the greatest. To draw the conclusion, one can say that the human is the root cause of all his troubles, and only having a kind heart and good brains were capable to correct all the mistakes that humanity has made for many years of its existence.